Born. Today marks two years since 84-year-old Visha Ratanapakti was killed. He was violently shoved to the ground, attacked in the middle of the day in San Francisco's Anza Vista neighborhood. Cron 4's Amanda Harry was at tonight's vigil where they remembered his life. Amanda? Well, today's event was held to remember Grandpa Vicha. He's not the only member of the Asian community who has fallen victim to violence here in San Francisco. January 28th marks two years since 84-year-old Visha Ratanapakti was taken from his family, friends, and community. He died after being pushed to the ground, hitting his head on the pavement. His death awakening the nation to an upwelling of violence against Asian Americans. His daughter, Montanis Ratanapakti, still struggles with the loss. How are we supposed to mourn and celebrate at the same time? It's hard to believe it has been two years since my father, Risha, passed. She spoke in front of his memorial near California Street and Grant Avenue, then again at Portsmouth Square. She says he wouldn't want her to be sad when thinking of him. He would want to be remembered as a lovely grandpa and family man who brought together the community to keep everyone safe. At the event, other Asian assault victims were remembered and spotlighted. Selena Chu told her story of being attacked in San Francisco. We felt at the moment I was going to die. I will never be able to go back to my family. She says she still hopes attacks on Asian people will stop happening. Grandpa Visha, I wish he, he was the last one that need to be sacrificed to make people know this is not right. This needs to change. The hate needs to change. We need to spread love. Visha's daughter echoed a message of love over hate. If we live with love, there will be no more violence in our society. The event ended with attendees writing positive messages on slips of paper and putting them inside of lanterns illuminated at Portsmouth Square. Organizers tell me they hope the event will promote healing among the Asian community as well as safety within the Asian community. Live in San Francisco, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.